Indiana tops another list in the country, and it's not a good one. A study shows our, we are fifth when it comes to the number of black homicide victims. NBC 33's Taya Samillion has details and reaction. No one in Baton Rouge seems too surprised that our state had one of the highest black homicide rates in the nation in 2012. Yeah, I lost a lot of childhood friends, a lot of uh, family members and all that, by guns, drugs, and all that stuff like that, too. According to an annual study done by the Violence Policy Center, Louisiana ranks fifth overall. It's hard to pinpoint why, but many believe it's because of history, poverty, and a lack of education. I can't see there's really another chance for them, a better life for them, and they resort to this type of uh, violence. And, you know, we're seeing more and more of it. We're seeing it more with younger kids that, at a very young age, have just pretty much given up. Moore says the leading cause of death for young black men is homicide. And more often than not, they were killed with a gun by somebody they knew. People here at the Piggly Wiggly off Choctaw Drive say this area is one of the most dangerous in Baton Rouge. They tell me that weekly shootings are just a way of life, and you've got to be incredibly careful not to become just another statistic. Yeah, there's a lot of crime over here. This was the crime for the weekend. I think we had four shootings, five fatalities. Crazy. In, 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 in a three-mile radius. The study shows that blacks in our country are disproportionately affected by homicide. In 2012, blacks represented 13% of our nation's population, yet accounted for 50% of all homicide victims. I feel for my sons, I have several sons, and I would want them to live a full life. But the way things are going now is, is almost you want to put your children in, in an igloo or send them to Alaska or somewhere. Moore says as a nation, we should really pay more attention to this issue. He believes something needs to be done so we can all have a better quality of life. In Baton Rouge, Talia Smilling, NBC 33 News. The Violence Policy Center issues one of these reports each year. Right now, the 2012 data is the most recent. It'll be another few years before we see the numbers for 2013 and 2014.